Good day everybody, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to this tutorial on Angular 2. Remember in the past tutorial we saw how we could next components together where we had uh, our home component nested into our app component, alright? So, but uh, this is a boring website, we need to build a kind of website uh, that we'll be proud of. Um, something that will kind of, uh, uh, something we can write home about. So, um, Instead of writing our own HTML and CSS, um, custom HTML, CSS, let's just use Twitter Bootstrap. You know, Bootstrap is a framework for HTML and CSS. And I expect if you're taking this tutorial, you must have heard about Bootstrap, all right? So let's see how we can add Bootstrap into our project and start using it straight away, all right? What that essentially means is that we'll go to Bootstrap's website and... Um, uh, getbootstrap.com that is it uh, the getbootstrap.com you hit enter and then um, there we are on bootstrap's website all right so what you do is click on uh, you click on uh, getting started and then you go to scroll to this bootstrap cdn section where you copy um, the the cdn links to bootstrap um, sdk all right so this basically contains three links. The first one it ref makes reference to Bootstrap's CSS. It just a set of already written CSS for you. Then the second one makes a, a reference to the team, and the third one makes a reference to the JavaScript. All right. So what we have to do is we get back to our code. Somewhere in the head section, probably before the end of this head section, you, will, you click paste, and um, all of a sudden we have these three guys here. And then by default, um, you should always have your, by practice, a best practice though, but it's, it will work this way, but you should always have your JavaScript files, not at the head section, uh, but just before the body end of the body section. So this is where the JavaScript files should be. So I've copied it from the top and I've put it at the bottom here. Then Bootstrap always needs jQuery. Or it always needs you to have jQuery installed. So I will just go over to jQuery.com. jQuery.com. jQuery is a JavaScript framework. And then you click on download. And then you scroll down to where you have the CDN. jQuery CDN. This section, you click on this code.jQuery.com. So that's where we should have visited the first in the first place. So you could just type code.jQuery.com into your browser. And then here are the different versions of jQuery. I will just choose the latest version, the minified version of it. Then it gives me this this link to copy. I'll just copy it and I will get to uh, my page and insert it just above the bootstrap at the bottom too. All right. So we have um, jQuery and we have bootstrap and then we have um, this bootstrap here. So with this done, we now have a very we now have bootstrap installed and um, we can now build very beautiful web pages so let's quickly look at what our app looks like as you can see it's still blank uh, remember that you have to run ng serve to start up your server my server is already running so remember that you have to run ng serve okay so um this is where i run it ng serve then you have to visit the url it's spawn up for you now if you run ng serve and this takes long to start up it means that your command prompt is hanging you just have to close it and restart a new command prompt and navigate to your project folder and run ng serve again then you copy this guy the link ctrl c on your keyboard you highlight then you ctrl c on your keyboard paste it on the browser and there you are on your app all right so we need a design already we now have bootstrap correctly installed we need a design so let's head over to the getting started section of bootstrap again then we'll scroll down past this section we'll scroll down 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 and then we get to this point where you have the examples so we'll just look for an example that looks more closest to what we are working with we are doing this because we're trying to avoid having to code from scratch again okay so um this guy looks cool where you have general description here and some blog posts we're trying to build a blog another guy that looks cool is like this this uh, looks like a wordpress blog where you have the list of data stuff by the side and then um, you have stuff like this that looks cool list of blog posts 
So um, I would suggest we just take this. You can always choose any one you want. We can take this, but before I click on it, just know that you can download all these files directly from here. So if you download it according to the instruction here, you go to Docs Examples. That's when you start saying these guys will be folders. So I'm downloading it right now, but I don't need to download it. We can just go straight up, choose what we want with it. But basically, this guy click on it, and then it opens the example so we just copy the source code that made up this page since we already have bootstrap installed i'll right click and uh, i will view page source now um if you don't know bootstrap if you don't know how to use bootstrap and you wish to learn you can visit my web page my youtube channel and uh, just get to my youtube channel youtube.com slash c slash brain org that is the the url and when you get there you can get a tutorial on uh, bootstrap just look through the playlist there and get a tutorial on bootstrap and don't forget to subscribe so there we are back to our code we've viewed the source where i clicked and clicked on view source and there we have this and uh, this is the head section of the page we don't need it and this is the body section of the page from here down to here is the body section so when we get up here we see that it has a navigation bar that starts here and ends here so i'll copy this navigation bar and um, this is a navigation bar this black top is a navigation bar so i'll copy it and i'll get to the head to my code this is my index.html that is where i imported the bootstrap because um, this is the starting point of your app once your app starts it looks in this file first and um, this app root um, kind of takes what it inserts whatever is in your app components so inside the app component we start inserting other um, components so inside the app component we had our home component inserted so here since every page every page will have that top navigation bar i can just put it here i can paste it here so no matter what page you are on you will always have a top navigation bar so i can paste it here otherwise um i can put it here too at the top of this guy since um we'll be inserting we'll be making sure that every page routes from here okay so i have the top navigation bar here and uh, let's go and refresh let's look at our server as you can see the server is already refreshing itself uh, if you can't wait for the server you all you have to do is just um you, you refresh the browser by yourself click on refresh and um, it's rotating and um, when it's done it should pull up a nice navigation bar for us so there we have it project name nice navigation bar on our app so the next thing we need is the rest of the content so we will get back to our bootstrap and see that there is uh, probably a footer let's look at the code we have a footer so we take the footer and the footer is inside the container oops so what we'll do is um we have nav we've taken nav out so let's go take the rest of the content um the rest of the content is there's a jump button as you can see this guy is a jump button in bootstrap this ash color with all this and then you have the container so um, let's see how it goes let's just put the container first so we start here and this is the container we start here and end here as you can see this thing tells us that the container is uh, that's the end of the container we'll copy the container and then we go to our app components HTML then of course we remove this guy here We paste it so we have a container there and then uh, maybe somewhere in between we can insert the contents of our home so let's see I've copied out the home and we have our container let's see in our browser what our angular blog our server is already restarting it for us and let's see what it looks like and as you can see the server is restarting the page there you have it 
we have this 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 let me just copy the jumbotron just to show you that you can photocopy exactly what is there so i'll copy i'll go to this place in our app components.html at the top of the container just like it is in that code i'll paste it and then we get back and um, we get a refresh so it just refreshed and we have our hello world we have this guy as you can see it's identical to what we have here the reason why our hello world is red in color is because it's inside a h1 tag which we have styled um, this is h hello world inside the h1 tag if we go to app component.css in the first or second video we actually made h1 tags to be red you understand that is why our hello world is red but as you can see everything works perfectly now the next thing we need to do is to look at the contents we want we want these contents to be fed in from another blog right uh, from another component so the component should be the the home component we want the home component to list the list of latest blog posts so what we can do is to copy this guy out and put it in home components then we nest the home component into this so we we need to copy this row copy this row out in, including of course okay we'll just copy this row out we'll go to our home component.html we remove this and paste that there then we remember that the selector as according to home component the selector is half home so we go and uh, insert the selector inside our app component remember in our app component.ts we have already imported home components and uh, so we can now go to app component.html and actually use the selector app home app home so we have the selector but when the browser is still trying to compile this let's just type loading so the user will just say loading before uh, it replaces this with the contents of home component.html okay so um, we get back to our code and um, we allow it to refresh and we wait as you can see it's working perfectly so it's uh, it nexted this home component into the app component and it's working perfectly all right which means the next thing we have to do um, is to actually programmatically retrieve this list you know this is a manually typed out list so we have to see how we can programmatically um, retrieve this list from a database i know angular just designs the the handles the front end of your app you still have to find a, a good database or a good back end for your app in this tutorial we'll be using firebase but of course you can use any other database like mongodb like um couchdb pouchdb RethinkDB. there are many of them you can use but we'll just use firebase in this tutorial so i hope this um doesn't confuse you if it confuses you you go back through the tutorial but i'll run through it one more time our app starts from uh, index.html and then instead of us to write our own custom css which you can do you just write your own custom css you put it in the assets folder after putting it in the assets folder you come here and link it you just put to link to it you just put um the assets like that dot assets assets then you put the name of the css file whatever name it is so but um since we are getting it from online that's where we have this url all right and then we imported bootstrap and of course at the bottom we added the jquery files and the bootstrap uh, javascript files then we put the navigation bar here because every page will have a navigation bar and then we went to and of course we put this selector which points to app components so we went to app component.html and um, pasted the rest of the body of the code the content of the page but we also removed the particular content of that page and uh, in replace it with a selector for home then we took the content of that page and put it in home.html all right so assuming we had menu we could do that for menu.html from here 
if we had menu to list we can just um, add another selector here uh, create another component called menu add the selector here then go to the the app component.ts and import it all right so that's it on how to add custom assets to your angular 2 application and uh, see you in the next tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, bye